I'm very, very excited for, and kind of in the same boat of if they had just done that, I would have been happy for the next three years probably is A-B testing in the App mm. Store. I, I wrote a guide on how to do A-B testing on Google Play, which offers it natively a couple of years ago, maybe a year ago. And people have since been asking me all the time, how do I do this in iOS? How do I do this in the App Store? And I was like, well, you have these hacks. You can go outside the store. You fake a landing page. And no one wanted to do it for a reason that it doesn't make any sense. And now that we have the ability to A-B test all the visuals, icons, screenshots, videos, like why would you ever not want to A-B test them? Unless you trust yourself amazingly, amazingly <laughs> so, and you're like, I know that this orange background is going to be perfect. I don't know that. <laughs> I want to test I wrote it. it. Yeah, I wrote it right the first time. There's no way it could possibly be done <laughs> yeah. better. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like That's like the polar opposite of your point of view on this thing. Yeah, and I, and yeah. I agree. It's, it's one of those things that, yes, it's time consuming. And yes, I know you want to be playing with SwiftUI, but it really behooves you to spend some time <laughs> even playing as, as something as simple the examples they were showing of just changing your icon color and seeing like yeah. does that make a difference or not and i love that they put it they made it such that if, if a person like if you have a red icon and a blue icon two different pages and a person uh gets the red icon version of your store page and they they buy the app or they download it that that color icon will be the one that shows up on their home screen you know, it's like that's so apple they followed all yeah. the way through with that so even when you're testing your icons you're not going to get a weird surprise yeah. where the heck is this app like you can you can make a completely different icon uh and the customer will still recognize that when it comes uh when it lands on their on their home page uh yeah i think that this is going to be huge marketing every company i've ever done contracts for like the marketing department hates all these restrictions on the app store they always feel like i have to pull all my marketing out to my own landing pages and then you're like we're sending them to the app store as a last thing just to download the stupid thing. <laughs> like, like they almost pretend that doesn't exist. Um, but given that like 70% of people are getting to you or what, what is the current percentage of people getting to your app via search in the app store itself, right? It's still really high, right? Yeah, it's it's fairly, fairly high. Yeah. So, I mean, at this point, like that is where people are seeing your app, a mm -hmm. high number of them. So like <clears throat> it, it really makes sense that for Apple to give us the ability. I just never thought they'd do it, uh, the ability yeah. to do that. So the way they did it, though, it's interesting. So you have up to four variants, I think, of your actual three variants. Okay, three variants uh, that show yep. up on the on the actual um, search results page, or if you know someone's just looking for it on the store, or if they feature you or whatever. But then you get thirty five additional URLs that you can use for yep. marketing emails and other things like that. So you could send someone to your app via yep. your own landing page or something like that. And there, it's like the sky's the limit. But you do have to get them all approved, which does does yep. make sense. <laughs> but but um, yeah, you can really go crazy with the testing. Yeah, absolutely. You need to get them approved, but you don't need to submit an app update. I think right. that's the big one. So I talk to, I, I talk about ASO and keywords and and testing and all that. And people go, oh, but if I want to test my screenshots, I have to release an update. I go, yeah, but you know, it's a small price to pay in order to actually have knowledge about what works versus what doesn't. Like, yeah, maybe I'll do it with my next update. I'll think about it. Now you don't have to do any of that. Not none of that decision making of should I do it? Am I going to worry about it now? Should I worry about it later? No, I think it's great. I think A-B testing and the custom landing pages serve different purposes and should be used a little bit differently, but they're both really, really interesting. And the fact that we have 35 custom pages, thats it sounds like not a lot, but for Apple, 35 of anything is a lot. <laughs> so, <laughs> it's such a weird arbitrary number. Why 35? Yeah. Exactly. I was trying to figure out like seven times five. I'm like, no. I'm like, <laughs> like, what is 30? What's the significance of 35 and not 36 or 40 or I don't know? Yeah, or 100 but, or 50. Yeah. <laughs> Well, I know they, they know that if they made it like 100 or 150 that you would use them all. So <laughs> like they're like, OK, we, yeah. we know some people will use five and some people will want to go crazy with it. So we have to set some sort of limit. But yeah, I think it's it's an acknowledgement by Apple that we're, tr you know, hey, uh, all right, these folks are running businesses, right? And exactly. it's also acknowledged like if we do better, if they do better, right? They're going to make more money if we're making more mm -hmm. money. So why wouldn't they give us these tools? But, it, you know, I think it just takes Apple a long time to come around to that idea that's um, you know, give up a little bit of the control over your precious app store look and feel. <laughs> but yep. at the same at the same time, like not everyone's going to see the same app store anymore, right? We'll all get different versions of these pages. But yeah, at the same time, we're all going to make more money. So I think it's a good thing. Yeah, Another absolutely win win. Um, I yeah. do think that this is Apple's acknowledgement of they're running businesses. Um, app store optimization is a real thing. The app store is not as closed off as people make it seem to be. Right. And ultimately, that's just how it has to be.